The pecs are one of the most important body parts for developing a massive appearance to the upper body. The pectoralis major or chest is made up of two heads, the sternal head, which is the largest part of the chest muscles, and the clavicular head, which in bodybuilding circles is more known as the upper chest. And while massive pecs in general are a very important muscle group to develop in bodybuilding, it's the development of the clavicular head specifically, or upper chest, that really separates an impressive physique from just an average muscularly developed body. Arnold Schwarzenegger himself is a prime example of someone with such an impressive chest development that even at his peak of 230 pounds, the development of his pecs could even give Ronnie Coleman in his prime at 300 pounds a run for his money. But more importantly, it's the shelf-like appearance of the upper chest and extremely well-developed clavicular head that creates this look. Of course, there's only one Arnold, and your genetics will predetermine the shape, length, and insertions of your muscle groups individually. But anyone watching this who wants to get more development out of their own upper pecs can apply a few tips that will take their own upper chest development to the next level. The first one is obvious, but it's the use of incline pressing in your training. A 45 degree incline press is generally the most productive angle to be pressing at for upper chest development. But one angle that many do not explore is the more upright pressing at 60 degrees. This is an angle that was a staple for Franco Colombo, who also uncoincidentally had an extremely impressive upper chest development. Now, once you focus on these two movements for your chest training, the next key is bar path. This is a subject that has a lot of debate in bodybuilding and gets even more complicated when you cross over into powerlifting and strength. But let's keep this strictly for focusing on the clavicular head of the chest. Bringing the bar down much higher on the chest, or more specifically to the clavicle, will allow for a much greater stretch of the pecs in this position. And muscle hypertrophy is generally greater in movements where they're performed in a large range of motion that fully stretch the target muscles. So any form modification you can make that will increase this stretch is generally a good idea for building mass. The third tip will be grip width. Specifically for the upper chest development, the closer grip has a distinct advantage for the clavicular head of the pecs. And this is something you've most likely heard me discuss on this channel as it relates to general mass gain. But again, for the purposes of developing the upper pecs, a shoulder with grip or just slightly wider will specifically engage the clavicular head of the pecs much more, simply because that's the part of the chest that also is responsible for raising the arms and works closely with the shoulders in all front raising and shoulder pressing movements. Another reason why high incline presses have plenty of carryover to both shoulder development and pec development. Now, once you dial in all three of these tips and techniques into your training, the key is training progressively on these movements with the specific form technique. That means getting stronger over time and progressively increasing training volume, weight, reps, or a combination of all three. If your goal is general mass gain, a good training setup would be to focus on flat pressing or horizontal pushing movements once per week to target the sternal head of the pecs, and then having a separate workout later in the week where you focus on incline pressing to hit the clavicular head. Doing these movements on separate days has the advantage of training incline presses when you're fresh, first in the workout, opposed to doing them after flat barbell bench pressing like many bodybuilding programs do. If you are looking for a program that utilizes this technique, I recommend you check out my five-day mass gain program in the description. Or if you need specialized programming that's completely custom to your needs, check out my online coaching program as well. All the links are available below. And if you want to see more of the best original bodybuilding content just like this, make sure to hit subscribe.